The Scott Drake Wickerbill style rear spoiler here might just be one of the most aggressive options available for the 2015 and newer Fastbacks, looking to make a dramatic visual statement with the rear end. Now the Scott Drake will feature a durable yet lightweight ABS plastic build along with your satin black coating and will include the Lexan flap here all for the low to mid $300 price point. All right guys, so as I just mentioned, this is gonna be a pretty wild option from the gang over at Scott Drake and is certainly for the Fastback S550 owners looking to go with something that's gonna make a pretty wild statement. Now, in fact, when I first saw this thing, I was instantly reminded of the MMD V-Series spoiler, but to me, the wicker bill here is even more aggressive in regards to this rake or this angle. And it does come with the benefit of that removable and adjustable Lex and flap, and this is obviously where that wicker bill name originated from. Now, not only does this add a bit of that race car vibe, but it also gives you a lot better visibility uh, with the clear Lexan and this cutout here out of your rear view mirror. Now again, once installed here, the height of this Lexan can be adjusted thanks to your slotted holes on both sides that allow you to basically go high with the Lexan if you'd like, go low, keep it flush, whatever you wanna do you have that flexibility. Now my one and only gripe here with the wicker bill execution is that Scott Drake does toss in some silver hardware instead of black, which to me stands out a little bit against the black spoiler itself, but obviously an easy fix if you did wanna grab some different or black hardware. That is if it bothers you at all, I'm a little OCD, but again, that's my one little gripe here with this option. But outside of that wicker bill aspect, this option from Scott Drake is gonna deliver that very aggressive rake that I mentioned earlier that delivers that in-your-face styling that some people really might be after. In fact, if you do wanna get a better sense of how this might look on your S550 at home, feel free to check out some of our customer submitted images back on the product page just to get a better sense of what I'm talking about. Construction-wise, again, you are looking at a molded ABS plastic build, very lightweight here, guys finished off in a satin black coating that does have some UV protection baked in, and that's just gonna help prevent any fading over the years. But now what do you say we switch gears? Let's talk a little bit more about the install, and typically with these spoiler installs, guys, site goes middle of the road, two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Call it a couple of hours to complete from start to finish. Now they do that because honestly, install is gonna go down one of two different ways. Uh, if you have a factory spoiler installed, it's certainly gonna be a little bit easier. If you do not, well, obviously you will need to bust out the drill. But to give you a better idea of how things might go down on your S550 at home, here is a detailed walkthrough from an AM customer now. Check it out. For this project, we used a nylon pry bar, a small magnet, or telescoping magnet, magnet, a quarter inch drive ratchet, a number three Allen wrench, a flathead screwdriver, uh, in this case it is a replaceable or removable bit, but any small flathead screwdriver will do, a nut driving handle, a quarter inch extension, a 10 millimeter deep socket, a pair of scissors, a nylon scraping tool, and double-sided tape. We are going to start with opening the hood. And, or trunk, I'm sorry, trunk lid, deck lid. And now we've got to remove the grommets here and here. And the grommets for cover there. And these are bumpers to tighten up the deck lid. And and then we're going to pull these pins. To pull the pins, we're gonna utilize a nylon uh, removal tool, which can just be pulled into here and pried up, and the pins will pop out. We're gonna go ahead and store these guys in the trunk, along with the other hardware. total of nine of these pins in the trunk in the deck lid. So to pull the pin, I'll take the nylon removal tool, shove it behind and just pry up. And it pops out. These ones here. And we've got 
over here and there all right now we've got the nylon cover to get that nylon cover off and use a small screwdriver get back behind the latch and it comes off all right All right, to remove the factory spoiler, we've got to remove the 10 millimeter nuts here and in three other spots on the deck lid. They're also here, here, and here. To do this, uh, there has been, I've seen that these nuts do have a tendency to try and fall. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these inside nuts. And they are nylock nuts or nylon, they have nylon inserts to keep them from loosening up over time. Uh, so they do require that you can't just break them loose and then uh, loosen them all the way with your fingers. You've gotta loosen them completely until they're almost off. And once you get them near the end, then you're able to loose, loosen them with your fingers or take them off with your fingers. And in this case, we're just using a quarter inch drive ratchet and a 10 millimeter deep socket. All right, now the outside ones are gonna be a little bit more challenging because they are in a recessed hole here. So as we get them loose or towards the end, it's gonna be a little challenging to keep them on a socket or in the socket. So we're just gonna get it close. Uh, and in this case, I am using a 12 inch uh, quarter inch drive extension. It's a bit long, it doesn't need to be that big, but that's what I have in hand. And I basically loosened them until I felt almost no resistance. And once I felt no resistance, then I stopped, uh, stopped loosening them because they would fall off. Now that they're mostly off, um, we do have a couple of options here as to how we want to get them out. Uh, one option is going to be to tilt the trunk lid, uh, deck lid towards us and in turn keep the nuts hopefully in the socket. And we'll try that on one side and see and confirm that works before going ahead with the second one. We're going to drop this down with the socket and nut on there and we're going to just loosen until it feels like it's loose. didn't do it. Fortunately, we're like right there. Had a few extra turns on it. All right. And we got that one. Turn that nut until it feels loose. Drop it down and we captured it. So we've got to get the, we've got to get the spoiler off of the car now now that we've loosened the nuts we still do have some double-sided tape that's holding this guy on so what we're going to try and do is using goof off and preferably some that's not going to damage anything we're going to try good and dirty using a uh, nylon scraper we're gonna try and get in here 
like so. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, I got a little bit on there. We're gonna spray a little bit more in here. And continue working it down. Okay. We are making headway here. Now, there's also some pot pins, apparently it looks like. Looks like there's some pot pins uh, similar to what hold uh, panels on um, that are also trying to hold this spoiler on. And I'm gonna spray a little bit more down in this side here and that side there. Just in the interest of prying this guy off. Okay. And those are the pot pins I was talking about, which are now off. And our spoiler's free. Now that we got most of the double-sided tape off, we're gonna spray this down with some soap and water. Mostly because goof off that we were using has grease in it. So you can use a degreaser like Simple Green if you want to. Or in this case, we're just gonna use uh, some Dawn dish soap and water to get most of the grease off we tackle this tape anymore. It's important to take your time when removing the the old spoiler or the factory spoiler because um, you can get you can pry up on it a little bit and it will put some dings into dings and scratches into your finish if you're not careful um, in our case with the wicker bill we're not doing a whole lot you can also use a heat gun to soften the tape up a little bit um, if need be but in this case it's not a huge deal all right, let's see. And now we've got some double-sided tape up, but again, I'm gonna be covering this, so. All right, now we've got the hardware for mounting the spoiler here. Um, it consists of four studs four nylock or nylon locking washers, and then four flat washers, which will hold it in place. Um, the studs have a Allen head in the top of them that will assist you in installing them into the into the spoiler itself. The spoiler has four nuts inserted into the uh, spoiler material, or the, uh, the plastic, and the studs for the spoiler, to mount the spoiler, have a number three hex head in the end of them to assist in installing them. I am going to use a little bit of Loctite on, blue Loctite on the studs, because even though the nylon nuts or nylock nuts will prevent the nuts from loosening up, 
I want the studs to be secure into the, the spoiler itself. So we're gonna just add a little dab of blue Loctite to every one of these studs and start them and then just give them a little bit of a twist to make sure they're tight. There is four studs across the entire thing, entire spoiler. So go ahead and do that. Insert all four of these. Now they don't thread in far. Um, we're talking maybe two turns here. It's not, not very far at all. Uh, but it should be enough to hold them in place and heavy on the Loctite there, but we just want just enough Loctite to keep them from backing out. That is that. Now what we also have is a little bit of double-sided tape here. It's just some double-sided tape to secure the spoiler and to cover any holes that are not going to be used. So in this case, I see the four inside holes are used, so we're gonna go ahead and move the spoiler out of the way and just cut little pieces to put over any unused holes, mostly because I don't want, oh, that one's bad. Uh, I do not want water getting in to these holes and through the open holes. It's not like the uh, factory spoiler that actually filled up quite a few of the holes. Okay. All right, so we ended up getting all that double-sided tape off. It is now a clean surface. We have our small pieces of double-sided tape filling in the holes that we are not going to use uh, because of the fact that the new spoiler does not use those. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm that the holes that we do need to use are free and clear and we are good to go with them. So we're going to Pull the tape off of the double-sided tape that we installed or added that is not part of the, that does not come with the spoiler. Um, and then we'll get the new spoiler set in place and we will go from there. Once we get it set in place, we'll work on tightening these nuts up. So we put down a total of five pieces of double-sided tape on this deck lid to cover the holes from the factory spoiler and the alignment lugs that came with it. going to do is we're going to take the aftermarket spoiler, the wicker bill, and I'm going to start the double-sided tape here. Just get a little tab going on each side of it. A little tail hanging out the front there. And then with that tail, we're gonna go ahead and 
bring it down and set it in place. Ish. Okay. And then we're gonna pull the tail out until it's clear. Stick that down. And because the other pieces of double-sided tape that we have in here, this should not want to come off, even though it's not permanent hold, it is holding a little bit. But to be safe, we need to get a nut on there, or a couple of nuts. So holding the spoiler in place, we're going to put a flat washer on and one of our nylock nuts, get it started. And that will prevent the spoiler from wanting to fall off all the way anyway. It'll hold it slightly in place. Let's get another flat washer on. And again, another factory, or aftermarket, sorry, another nylock nut. So we added washers and nuts to the two central uh, studs because they're easier to access. You can actually get your hand in there. All right, so we're gonna get the nuts and washers tightened up here. In this case, we're still using a 10 millimeter socket. In this case, on a nut driving handle. Just gonna get it slightly tightened up here. And last but not least, now to get the washer in place, what I'm using is a magnet, which barely holds on to it. And key is to play similar to uh, there we go. Um, the surgeon surgeon game because we do not want to drop things or washers down into the into the uh, deck lid. Um, what I've done here is I've taken the nut and put it into the deep socket and on the nut driving handle with it inserted, um, the nylon side facing me, I'm just holding it at an angle, putting it in and then just kind of playing with it and getting it close. and playing with it a little bit and turning it uh, clockwise, in which case it's, it's actually tightened up and, um, or it's getting on there, it started the thread. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up now. So we've tightened up the driver's side and now we're gonna do the same thing to the passenger side. Uh, basically just snug or snug is you now we don't want to tighten it too much but we don't want it loose by any means all right and now we will go back to the 10 millimeter socket 10 millimeter deep socket on the quarter inch drive uh, ratchet and just tighten away Now, I'm certain that there's easier electric ways of doing this. Um, you can probably use, well, I know for a fact, you could use a quarter inch drive uh, swivel on a extension and a 10 millimeter quarter inch drive deep socket. That's 100% possible to tighten these up. Um, but this can also basically be done more or less with a quarter inch drive socket set purchased from, uh, as long as it's got deep sockets, purchased from any retailer.
And so I get the last one. I didn't tighten the third one down all the way. I got it close. All right. And with tightening those up, the spoiler has now sucked in down onto the deck lid. Uh, that's looking pretty, pretty nice there. All right. Now, with that in place, we can go ahead and uh, put our covers back on. So we're gonna insert the emergency handle exit into here, put the camera, backup camera wiring limb in place. I guess we can slide this guy on here to kind of lock this up in here so we don't have to mess with it too much. And then we just start reinserting our push pins. Again, there's nine of them throughout the deck lid. a trunk handle there and then we reinsert our grommets and then the bumpers turn in these are these are uh, spacers, they, they're not spacers, they're stops. They're stops that can be adjusted outward or inward to prevent your deck lid from lifting. There we go. So if you are looking for an aggressive spoiler to really help separate your ride from the rest, be sure to check out the wicker bill option from Scott Drake right here at AmericanMuscle.com.